other day with a 560. And the morning I started, it didn't run good. It didn't rev up. It was missing and stuff that I couldn't. It, it all of a sudden quit and I played with the shut off a bit. And I started up and it ran beautiful. Put to work on the disc. Ran it a couple of rounds and same thing. It started to lose power and then it quit. And we have a friend of ours who's a former IH dealer and he told us to try a couple things. He figures either this line is plugged or uh, this check valve is plugged. So we're gonna find out. Well, I think it was the check valve that was the problem and I blew, blew it out and it blew very hard, but I cleaned it out. Now I got another problem. With that check valve going, it fill, filled the, uh, my crankcase of diesel fuel. It ruined the seal in the pump. So, something that needs fixing. Well, I mean, I get my seven and go to work. This, I think, is the problem with, this is the problem with my 560, this check valve that goes in the tank. And when this is blocked off, it, 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 it will pump the fuel in the oil pan. It will also kill the tractor, so I'm going to try and clean this. This is a $350 piece at case. So I'm preheating some fluid. And I'm going to clean up a couple of these and see if I can make one work. Getting a bath right now so we'll see what happens when we're done. This definitely was the problem. Here's the one that was on it. And what it's supposed to do is there's a check valve here and it's supposed to let the fuel in to the fuel tank. It's for the return side. Yeah, and not let it go out. It did leak out a bit. Yeah, it's leaking out. But putting it in, but put when you put fuel in, it just locks the check, what's holding the check valve back from, to allow the fuel out is buggered. And that's what, that's what killed my tractor. That's why it, why it ran, would run so long and die. Is that it has to circulate, otherwise it'll kill it. Okay, this is what I'm doing. It's uh, it's breaking here with this disc. I'm gonna put her in second gear because it's rough.
I had to change the oil today. There's 10 liters. They normally hold 10 liters and 20 came out of it because of the blockage. And right on the full mark. So it did not, after three or four hours running time, it did not fill the crankcase of fuel again. So the seal held once again once the return once I fixed the return issues. The 560 did a really good job. If you have a 560 or anything with a Rooster Master pump bogged down like that, check your return line and check the check valve. Those two things can give you a lot of trouble. But the day it went to work and did everything right, so I'm very happy. Well, God bless you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.